I've recently had a couple questions about how to edit your legend or you're seeing comments that I'm asking you to edit your legend. Um, so this video will walk you through a couple different ways you can edit your legend in ArcMap. Uh, a couple quick things, my computer is running very slowly today, so some things are taking a really long time to draw, but I can still walk you through the process. Let's start simply by just adding in the default legend. To add in that legend, remember we click on insert and scroll down to legend. Um, but I want to have the legend for my solar frame my solar data frame, so I want to make sure to activate that first. So I make the legend for this top data frame here. Okay, let's start again. Insert legend. And we are just going to keep clicking next all the way through our legend wizard. Um, without changing any of the settings. So we can just see what the default legend looks like. So if you're just clicking next, 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 and adding it to your map, this is probably where I'm taking some points off because um, you just have your default legend. Let's work through how to change it to make it readable, make it understandable, and uh, just look better. All right, let's first start with one of the obvious problems that maybe isn't so obvious on this map, but might be more obvious on different maps. Um, let's first zoom in here so we can see our legend a little clearer. If you'll notice when the legend loads that each of the um, items in the legend are still retaining their titles from the table of contents. Um, these are just the shapefile names. So if you have added a crazy shapefile name or it's you know your 14th version of something, um, that will pop up automatically in your legend. So what we want to do is make sure to change that. We want to make sure our layer names make sense um, and we want to make sure that they're easy to read. Um, so you can just rename it directly from the table of contents um, or you can right click on it and go on your layer name you want to change, go to properties and change it in the, um, on one of the properties tabs in the Okay, so if you go under general, you can change it here. Um, so you can see I just changed the name where it says layer name. Okay. You can actually also change the way your fields and the attribute display as well by clicking on the field name in your table of contents. leave it something like that. So you'll notice when I change things in the table of contents, they'll change on the legend um, automatically. So we can see it no longer says states. Um, we no longer have the US counties and we have this nice uh, title for um, the uh, heating type. It's still not perfect though. So what could we work on next? If you notice in the um, on our legend, we have a lot of numbers after the decimal point. And since these are um, uh, round numbers of homes that use the different heating fuels, they don't have um, a variety of decimal points or they're not percentages or um, am uh, dollar amounts. Um, we don't need those decimals after the, um, the or we don't need those numbers after the decimal point. So there's a couple ways you can change that, but the easiest way is to just go straight to your properties menu um, in the symbology tab by double clicking on the layer name or right clicking and going to properties. And we'll head over to that symbology tab. And this is one of the options you can change from the symbology tab. Basically, in this column where it says range, this is how it would be displayed. It's pulling it from the attribute table. The label column is how it will be displayed in your legend. If you click on the label heading, if we just left click on it and go to format labels, you get the whole number format menu. So there's a lot of different options, but the one I'm most concerned about are all these extra numbers after the uh, decimal point. 
So under rounding, we can change the number of decimal points. We can just delete that six and make it zero. You could also make it two or one if you needed those decimal points. So if you notice, our labels are now a lot clearer, no extra zeros, no extra digits after the decimal point. And we can go on and click OK. And in the time it takes to reload the legend, you can see in the table of contents that they've changed. And it will automatically also change on the legend as well. Once this loads, the last thing we can change is how the legend is actually displayed. Meaning you might not want it to say counties and homes powered by solar. Maybe this is too many words. Maybe you don't like that it's titled legend. It might be pretty obvious that it's legend. Maybe you don't think we need the state's um, um, outline in there. So to change anything related to how the legend's laid out, we just highlight, uh, make sure the legend's highlighted with the vertices and the cyan blue, and then we can double click on it or right click and go to properties. In the, once the legend properties window opens, there's a lot of things you can actually change and um, personalize about your legend. Um, and it takes a long time to, to learn this properties menu. There are a lot of options and a lot of changes you can make. So don't feel like you have to do everything um, all at once. Start with figuring out where the small changes are. Like, let's change how the legend is laid out. Let's say you don't want it, um, these, you don't want it to say counties or you want it to change put it in two columns, something like that. You can always change the title of your legend. We can make the title number of homes powered by solar power if we wanted to. You can also delete it if you wanted to or uncheck the show button. Um, what else? Yep. So the items menu or the items tab is where we can actually change how this is laid out. Um, you can do this by highlighting the states or for our sake we are more interested in the counties, highlighting the counties um, in the item we want to select and change, and we can click on style. In here, in the legend item selector, this is how your legend is laid out. There are so many options, and to be completely honest with you, I don't know, I can't look at this and go, yes, this is exactly the one I want. Usually, I have to click through some of the options to figure out which is the heading, which is the layer name, which is more important. Um, and you can click on OK to preview it. And we can click on Apply and see if that's how we want it. So we got rid of the county's label. That's I'm OK with that. Um, but if you go through the style menu, there are a ton of different options. You could test them all out, see which one you like best. Um, you can also change some of the specific properties, like where it goes. Um, if you want the heading to show, if you want the layer name to show, right now we have it turned off, but we could turn it back on, things like that. There's so many things in here to learn, but um, just those are a couple quick tips. So this is a great place to start formatting your legend. Maybe you want things in different columns. Maybe you want to make sure the county is in a different column, or I'm sorry, the home is powered by solar. Maybe you want it displayed in multiple columns. So we can also we can see what that looks like, see what it would be to look like if we changed by putting the homes powered by solar in its individual column, and then how many columns each item or each um, feature class or each thing on our legend we want to have. So that might be a few too many, that three might be too many. So we can go back down to one, and that'll change it. Um, remember, if you reorder something, And if you reorder something on your table of contents, let's see what happens to the legend. Oh, so slow. You can see that they've reordered on the uh, legend itself. Um, the last, oops, wrong one. Oh no, okay. 
The last thing I want to show you is how to add those neat lines in or the borders to the legend if you didn't get a chance to before. Um, also under legend properties, so I just double clicked on the legend. You can do things like add a border. You can add a background if you want a background. Okay. If you want to um, reduce how or increase how much space is between the background and the border, you can do that as well. Um, so you can see that we've reduced the space so the, the border is right on top of the legend and we have um, some of our background seeking, seeping over. <laughs> and all of these things I'm showing you, again, are things that it takes a while to learn. But once you learn where they are and start experimenting with your legends, you'll be able to make them look a little bit cleaner and a little bit easier to understand. So once this loads, I'm just going to change the legend back, the spacing on the X axis for the um, the the neat line the lead line the border <laughs> let's change that back to zero and click apply and okay we can also add in some space I should stop clicking okay <laughs> notice how close the words are to the edge of our uh, uh, to the border we can increase the gap, or which way do you want to go? Yeah, increase the gap on that. So we have a little bit more, let's see if we did that right. Yes, yeah, so we can increase the gap so it's not right next to it. And then we can increase the um, background as well. So change the X and Y, and we can see we've added that in. Um, we've added a little bit more space so everything's not right up against it. You could change, add more space on the Y if you wanted to. Anyway, you can fiddle with legends forever um, to make them perfect, but here are just some things that will make things a little bit easier on you on figuring out how to make it better. Um, the One thing I want to go back and show you because I forgot to do it before, but I'm looking at the numbers here. Notice we have thousands values. If you wanted to add commas in, that's we go back to the layer properties menu. So right click on the layer properties or double click um, and format labels. See there's this box here for show thousand separators. We can check that. We can click OK and then you'll have that thousand separator in there if that's important to you. Um, so again, I could make this like a two hour video of me messing with the legend, but I won't, I will stop now. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, let me know.